Hodges, how does it feel to be the new manager of AFC Wimbledon? No, it feels fantastic, it, it really does. I mean, um, obviously before we, we carry on, it's, I've got to pay tribute to Wally, um, go back a long way, been a teammate of him and he's coached me and obviously been in the management here uh, over 10 years together, so um, really enjoyed my time with him and obviously got to thank him for bringing me back here now to take this opportunity. Um, and, and, I hope, and I wish him all the best and whatever he does, but uh, you know, it's a special place down for him and I hope he comes down soon. They've, they've offered me the job, so they say, no, I, can't, you know, I couldn't turn down and, and, and I'm absolutely delighted and can't wait to get started. How does it feel potentially to be the man that will lead Wimbledon out at Plough Lane? Yeah, that, that's, I've not really given that a thought at the moment. My, my, my head's whirring, I've been discussing, I've been in there for two hours talking about bits and pieces and how to try and move the club forward and carry on the good work that Wally's done. Um, so I've, I've really not given that a thought, it's the first time you mentioned it, but that's, that's going to be special. And also, the foundations that have been laid in terms of the playing staff now, the young players you've got through, how much does that excite you? Yeah, well, if we have, Jack Madeline was on the bench uh, this weekend. It's, it's all exciting, I look around, you know, it's, it's a good link up now with the academy. Um, you know, Mark Robinson's up there with us working closely, and that's obviously made the links even stronger. Uh, and and because, uh, because of the squad of players we've got, that a lot of the boys are coming up and training and been training with us. And that started from pre-season at Wally started when we went to Germany. We took a, a young group out there and it's continued and I'm, I'm looking to continue that and trying to reap the benefits from the system. Going forward, how do you envisage the makeup of your backroom staff? Well, it's yet to be announced. Uh, I've got to make a few calls now. You've just caught me coming out of the room now, so uh, you know, I, need to, I need to sort that out. But, um, you know, I mean, I won't be changing too much. I'm happy with, happy with what's, what's there at the moment. So. Uh, Maybe tweak one or two things and, uh, um, um, and maybe bring an, um, somebody in, but uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when, when, I, when I get that sorted. And for yourself, of course, you've had a very successful career and up north as well, working with some big clubs. Are you looking to perhaps relocate to the area? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, it was, uh, that was another good thing. From Wally, he was, he, was, he was good to me, giving me plenty of time off that I could go up with the, with the family and, and have the odd day off that probably I shouldn't have done. But uh, you know, that was great for him, for him to do. But now I think. Uh, with this job, you know, I've got to give it 110 percent, and I can't, you can't do anything but give it your all. And to do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back and relocate. So I'll be, uh, I'll be on right move this evening to see what's out there. As you said as well, I mean, it's coming up to, um, I hate to say, hate to say it, but 40 years now since uh, that debut for Wimbledon. This club's got a very special attachment for you, hasn't it? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, you, you move on. You know, you have a soft spot for clubs, and you move on. And like, say, 40 years ago, and there's probably two, two of the clubs I've had, which is. Numerous, numerous clubs that, that, that really have that soft spot, and this is this particular one. Obviously, given my given my debut, and uh, brought, turned me from a boy to a man, if you like, and uh, and gave me a great bed and a great a great a great foundation to succeed in football. And uh, I'll be eternally grateful. And if I can give something back in this period of time, you know, I'll, I'll be trying my hardest. And with the run of form that we're on, how much are you really looking forward to stamp your authority on this job now? Yeah, well, I mean, I've enjoyed the last, you know, this, this month's been fantastic and, um, you know, the fans have been great and, you know, the, the scenes at the, the weekend at the end, um, it's nice to, to get on the good side of, 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 of that late goal for a change um, and, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be just trying my hardest. We're going to go for it again, so, you know, there's an opportunity here and um, we're back in the pack, as it were, we're, we're back up there, we're not adrift, so we've just got to keep, keep producing and keep performing and keep believing and, uh, and take the club forward. Fans very much at the heart of this club. What's your your message, especially for them? No, just it's it's it, I, I, at the moment that you've caught me off. I, I, I put I can't fully articulate it enough. But you know, to to been to been here as a, as a young apprentice of sixteen years old, and to return and actually get the job, and and with an opportunity to to take the club back to Plough Lane. I mean, it's it's just what what dreams are made of, and uh, we just got to make sure we're going to have a, a team that the, the the fans are proud of, and uh, and that really gives us a a real start when we move, when we move back in. Glenn Hodges, the new manager of AFC Wimbledon, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.